Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and a musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to create a background track inside of GarageBand here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, I have GarageBand open here. Now what we want to do is we want to locate the loop library because that is the easiest way to create a background track and that's located in the bottom right corner over here with this eye icon. Okay, so click on that and that's going to reveal our loop library. Now we can browse the library by choosing certain genres of music. So depending on what type of background song that you're trying to create, we can pick and choose um, from accordingly, okay? So let's go ahead and do, um, I don't know, let's do something fun like electronic and let's do beats, okay? And it's gonna narrow it down from every choice that you pick. So whatever mood you're trying to achieve. And then if we cruise down to below it, uh, we have the options that we can scroll through here. So let's, um, hmm, let's see. Let's just pick a name that kind of stands out. Let's do club dance. And all we have to do is click and drag and drop it into a new track like so. And it'll take a second. And then from here we can play it. Pretty cool, right? And if we want to extend it, we can hover over the right top corner of the region until we receive that loop icon or that circle arrow and click and drag accordingly to how long we want the whole entire background song. And then from there, once you have finished with the length of the track, you can simply go up to share and send song to iTunes. So there you guys go. That's it, there's not much to it. All you have to do is browse through the GarageBand loop library and pick and choose what background song that you want. So if you do have any other questions, please let us know, but thank you for watching.